if ever there was an embodiment of the best of Britain, it is in the name and image of Rolls-Royce. Since the company was formed just over 90 years ago, it has maintained the standards of excellence which were set by its founders. Because of that excellence, the name Rolls-Royce and the imposing radiator topped by the spirit of ecstasy have become recognized far beyond the realms of the car enthusiast. To the world in general, this is a motor car produced by a company specializing in quality, refinement and reliability. These are characteristics which bring long life with them as a natural progression. So it is not surprising that a high proportion of all the Rolls Royces ever built are still in existence and maintained in a manner which prolongs our enjoyment of them. It is our intention in this programme to look at some of those old cars together with some of the latest Rolls Royce products. At the same time, we'll look behind the scenes to see how those cars are built and gain some impression of why the name of the company which builds them has passed into the language as a superlative. There's no better place to gain an impression of the way in which old Rolls Royces are maintained and respected than here, the annual Concours d'Elegance of the Rolls Royce Enthusiasts Club. The largest gathering of Rolls Royce products on earth, every year it draws cars and visitors not only from all over Britain, but from the four corners of the world. Polished and pampered, they are seen at their best, ready to compete against their peers for the honor of being named as outstanding in a gathering of superlatives.